Hello everybody, this is another episode of Cooking with Peaches. We're going to prepare another quick meal. Um, today we're going to have cod, um, French green beans, and a peach dump cake. Now, real quick, we're going to go ahead and get our coconut oil for the green beans. I'm going to go ahead and get that open. Just a cute little quick meal that I just threw together. But I love using coconut oil for my food, um, for my face, um, just everything. Um, coconut oil is just the new shea butter. Actually, I think you can cook with shea butter also, but um, can't really find any organic shea butter. Like locally, I'm going to have to order it online. But what you go ahead and do is you just, I just grease my pan and... This pan is getting old. You can see that it's the Teflon is, you know, being scraped off, you know, from me cleaning it so much. So I'm going to have to order some new pans. Go ahead and get that around there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, saute my green beans in the coconut oil. And then I'm going to fry my cod. I have some wonderful pieces of cod right there. I'm going to season them, put some butter on them and some cracked peppercorn go ahead and get that going and go ahead and get them all seasoned got my old bay seasoning oh, i love old bay oh my god you can't be from the south and not use old bay now i probably should have just pan seared them in a little bit of oil because the cod was starting to break apart i couldn't really pick it up and you know um maneuver it how I wanted to but I just you know did the best I could I keep forgetting that cod you know is really flaky and it'll break apart now my coconut oil was getting a little bit too hot so I had to move it away from the heat and as you can see back there I have the stuff for my peach um, dump cake we're gonna get to that later but I also have my green beans now what I wanted to do was I wanted to set my green beans in the pan and just gently place them in the pan just so the pan you know wasn't on the heat and I didn't want you know the uh, any excess water from the green beans to get in the oil and pop 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 back on me excuse me pop back on me so I, that's why I removed my pan from the heat and go ahead and get that turned down and I also have some stir fry seasoning that I got from Food Lion earlier that day so that was really good to use um, it was also no salt added also so um, that was a wonderful addition to that good new seasoning that I was able to try again with the peppercorns alright have way more than enough paper pepper and some pink Himalayan salt I love my pink Himalayan salt gonna have to get some more and some minced garlic from the refrigerator section oh a little bit too much <laughs> ah, yeah I put a little bit too much in there but actually it gave my green beans some wonderful flavor so you know the mistakes that we do in cooking actually adds to our dishes so gonna go ahead and stir that up saute that not too high heat because I don't want the um, garlic to burn but look at those lush green green beans I love that color oh when they start to cook oh love it go ahead and turn my heat down so they can cook and simmer and not burn on me I also have some Louisiana fish fry for my cod also and because the cod was a little bit too flaky I'm just going to dredge the fish fry over the cod right there I'm gonna massage it in with my spoon right there oh yeah And I'm going to get them up and place them in the pan. One by one, gently. Because that oil is hot. 
use some canola oil for that to fry the fish in. So we have our green beans cooking and the fish searing. Go ahead and clean up my workspace and my counter. Love using those Clorox wipes for my stove. Next we're going to try, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and do the peach dump cake with the Betty Crocker moist cake mix. Go ahead and cover up my green beans so they can cook and get soft. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a whole stick of butter and I'm going to let it go into the pan and then I'm going to place it in the oven on 375. Alright. Then we're going to open up our cans of peaches. You can use fresh peaches but like I said this is a quick meal. Going to open up our cans of peaches. <laughs> okay, my name is Peaches. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> making that distinction. I'm going to go ahead and real quick, I'm just going to, you know, let some air out of my green beans. And then we're going to go right back to our peaches. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cans. Then we're going to season them. I'm not going to cut them apart like I usually do because I have a pretty big pan that I'm working with. So it's enough you know, room and space that I get to spread those peach halves um, all over the pan. So I'm not gonna cut them up like I usually do. But then we're gonna go ahead and put some, the pure vanilla right there. Go ahead and situate my camera and see what I'm really doing. Put a couple of drops of the pure vanilla. Had to take my little cap off. Oh, that vanilla just gives it such a wonderful flavor. Some cinnamon. Can never use too much cinnamon. Nutmeg. Actually, I forgot my allspice also. Good old generous amount of nutmeg. All right, we're going to go ahead and let that sit, but I'm also going to get a spoon and I'm going to stir that up also. So while the butter is heating up in the oven, we're going to go ahead and let that sit. Look at that. Look at that. That looks wonderful. So I love some ripe yellow peaches. Mm. And that juice in that cake mix is just going to bubble. So what we're going to do is going to take our top off the green beans. We're going to check them. I'm going to turn them. Make sure all sides get cooked. Mm, but look at my garlic, it's getting brown. I probably had the, you know, burner up too high. But I'm going to let y'all know, I love having a little char on my vegetables, on my food. I'm going to add a little bit of butter in there just to give it that buttery taste. Oh, yes. I'm going to get it all over those green beans. Deglaze the pan too. Gonna scrape the bottom of that pan and let it lift up. Then we're gonna check on our fish. We're gonna flip it over. I'm trying not to pop and burn myself. <laughs> when it comes to flaky fish like cod, I have to be extra, extra careful. Next time I'll just bake my cod because, you know, cod doesn't, you know, fish, well, fish, period. It doesn't take long to cook, so. Go ahead and finish flipping that over. Have a little stubborn piece in there. Yep, see it trying to break up break apart on me. There we go. I'm gonna give our green beans one more stir. It doesn't take long to saute green beans and get them done like that because I still want them to be crunchy, but I want them to be cooked also. So. And I went ahead and took out my butter for the cake. Oh, look at that beautiful melted butter. And the pan that I'm cooking that in is, oop, my Betty Crocker mix. And the pan that I'm cooking that in is a Cuisine art pan. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I can leave the link below. But there's my batter that I um, pre-made. Go ahead and get all that batter into that pan. Scrape that bowl 
lick the spoon if you want to, but it has raw egg in it, so I wouldn't recommend it, but scrape that fucking bowl, okay? Scrape it. Get all of that goodness out of there. Still scraping. There we go. See how much was in there? <laughs> Spread it around. Let it get implemented into that melted butter. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And we're gonna pour the juice in first let that get mixed in and then we're gonna evenly spread the peaches into the cake mix and what's gonna happen is those peaches are gonna move all the way down to the bottom so it'll kind of look like a pineapple upside down cake but it'll be a peach dump cake but then the peaches are gonna be upside down in the cake so when the cake bakes it rises up over the peaches and then the peaches and then those hot juices are going to be right at the bottom of the cake so we have to make sure that they're in equal spaces of the pan then we're going to go ahead put it right in the oven all right i'm going to go ahead and start plating our food and I know y'all won't see it, but I actually made some mashed potatoes in the background also. And we're going to go ahead and start plating. Got my mashed potatoes in my little bowl right there. Scooping it in. Alright, got the cod all finished. The mashed potatoes. Gonna get a little scoop of green beans. Uh, when I tell y'all this was just a wonderful meal. Didn't take long to make. I bought like three bags of green beans because that's how much I love fresh green beans. And there's our plate. Cod, mashed potatoes, green beans. Oh, wonderful. Now for this cake. Look at that. Look at that golden brown cake. Look at the deep in the sides. It was bubbling when I brought it out the oven, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Now that is dessert for you. That is my peach dump cake. Look at that. Look at the juices. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes. For the fatties out there who ain't afraid to get down and then go to the gym afterwards. Well, actually, I got the itis afterwards, but no. Look at that, though. Look at it. <laughs> Look. I had to turn the flash on for this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Dump cake action. Ooh. I love putting some ice cream on there. Oh, my flash. My phone going dead. And then letting it melt. But look at that. Look at that. Pizza, the ice cream, and peels of the peach cobbler. <sighs> Wonderful. Mm -hmm. 